Welcome back, everyone, to the season finale of Resident Evil 2. I am Killzone, alongside Sage Genesis. Mm -hmm, you got it. And, uh, this, this is Neogen Gaming. And we're going to watch Leon throw the G-Virus over the ledge, so, um, you know, Wester can do a dive and catch it and retrieve it. Yeah. Instead of smashing it in front of him. Well, actually, I think Hunk is the one who finally retrieves it. Oh, is he? So as we can see, Ada has no ammunition in her gun, which means she stuck, she stuck us up with no ammo. That's a little interesting, don't you think? She bluffed. She bluffed. She almost got it. But Leon called her bluff. I don't even know if Leon caught it. I, I mean, well, he said I, well, he wasn't going to give it up, but I think he's kind of lucky that uh, Ada got shot. Yeah. So I did wind up killing this guy, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting how things turned out. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a little self-destruct system going on, so we should probably get the hell on out of here. And all Resident <laughs> Evil fans know that once that self-destruct system goes on, we must it's be going the down. end of the game. It's going down. When, when that siren goes on, you better be ready to fight, because... Yes. yes. This, is the, this is the climax of the game. And we're going to have a few naked zombies running around here. We're gonna, blow, gonna him in half. blow him in half. I like that little screenshot there of Leon and the body parts well, flying up. I forgot about him. There is a zombie that's uh, right around the corner there, so be careful of him. Uh, oh no, you're gonna see some fantastic dodging. Oh there's my gosh. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Get out. Come on. Now. When I was doing this, I remembered halfway down this hallway. No, actually, after I entered the door, I realized that this will be the last time we will get to an item box. So, once I go through this door, I will turn around. And again, I say, this will be the last time we will be using an item box. So, Please make sure you get over there before this part. Yes. You want to make sure. Yes. This is a very important thing to do right now. Don't worry about the rest of the zombies, they're not going to get you. Oh, and let me say this now. This video is cut a little short because we're doing um, part two of the finale. It's just so we time it right. Yeah, we, didn't, we, weren't able to, uh, we weren't able to fit all the finale into one video shot. So we're yeah. gonna, we split it into two parts for you. So this is part one. So right here, we're going to hit into the uh, item box. And we're going to ditch that flamethrower because we don't need any. Look at all the first aids we have. <laughs> we don't even, we don't even touch them. I never use uh, the first aid sprays. Uh, we will be taking the magnums, however. So grab the magnum and the bullets. Grab some health. And there's our final setup. That's yep. what we will be taking. So I'm going to save one last time. Because I just have a feeling something's going to happen. Yeah. I don't know. But I just have a terrible feeling that, you know, Leon's going to want to be, I want to be safe, just to be safe. That like, as far as an evil fan should know, when you hear that siren, it's time to save. So here we go, there's our final setup. Shotgun, shotgun shells, the magnums with the parts and the bullets, and three recovery items. And you're set to go. Yep, I don't know why I'm still in here. I think you're just checking it over because you want to make sure. So I know I said that uh, in the beginning of the video that we were going to have Genesis here play a little bit of this walkthrough. Um, we wound up just having it be me. So. Yeah, I figure it's better to have one person play so that way we don't get confused by it. I mean, you know, it really didn't matter too much, but I'd like kills and have some fun on this one. We'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely be switching it up uh, later in the uh, series. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. So, equip the magnum. Now I remember I've got three bullets here, so let's figure out what this room was all about. Five minutes until detonation. And it looks like we have five minutes to live. <laughs> I like the classic green letters, man. I don't know, just seeing the they had the same ones in uh, future Resident Evil games too. Gold Veronica and such. So we're going to click the uh, elevator here. Uh-oh. 
What is that noise? Ah, uh, there he is. Ah, William Birkin. He's still alive. That little trickster. Oh, oh! Oh, man! <laughs> Given Slash! Now, we're playing on easy for video purposes, so you might look... He'll take a few more shots on normal difficulty. Definitely. Yeah, just to warn you guys. We could go through it on normal, but we wanted not to make a five-hour long video. So. so here's the second form of William Birkin. Um, this is where your newly powered Magnum will come in very much handy. And as you see, a free reload for you. He will jump around. He climbs the wall. Uh, he climbs the... I don't know what you want to call it. The, pillar. the easiest thing I can say about him is let him come down like that, fire away, and run. Yeah, he's fast. Like, uh, honestly. Well, he's like a dog. He will outrun you. I'm getting lucky right now. Oh! Oh, you just had to jinx it. Oh, oh. get thrown across. And I'm going to be in caution. This is the second time, yeah, ladies and gents. Time I will be, yep. Yeah, that we approached caution. He's got to be soon to death. What do you think, Sage? You think I got what's left? I think you do. Oh, that's it. You're done.